Good evening, I'm Duncan Golastani. The images are striking and large, advertising hoardings with pictures of what campaigners say is a nine-week-old foetus. There's no doubt who they're aimed at, and it is the MP for Walthamstow, Stella Creasy, who is the target of an anti-abortion group because she supports the right of women to be able to have an abortion. The MP told us she's horrified and is being harassed. You may find some of the images and themes discussed in Rear Chatterjee's report distressing. In the heart of Walthamstow, this billboard went up with a clear message. And then it was covered up, a counter message. Here's the spokesperson for the organisation responsible for this poster. We're targeting Stella Creasy because she is the MP who is pushing to repeal the um, 58 and 59 of the Offences Against the Person Act, which will remove all protections for the unborn child up to 28 weeks. So this is a very dangerous precedent that she is setting. So that's why we are targeting Stella Creasy. OK, so you accept that you're targeting Stella Creasy. It says on your website that your values are to treat every human being with respect and dignity. Do you think this is the right way to go about trying to have a dialogue with Stella Creasy by putting these posters up? We tried to engage with Stella Creasy through her office email and we had no response and so this is the only way that we're left. But this is quite a jump, isn't it, to put billboards up, don't you think? Well, we, 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 we're letting the people of Walthamstone know exactly what she is doing. Dignity. The dignity of women to be able to choose for themselves what to do with their own bodies. This is Stella Creasy's position on abortion. And she has been just as definitive on the posters projecting her name and picture. I'm extremely horrified by them. I know I was contacted by many people in Walthamstow over the weekend who saw the first lot of posters that this organisation brought to our community. People who'd had miscarriages, people who'd experienced baby loss, uh, people who'd had abortions, who were extremely distressed by the tone and the content of these posters. The organisation feels that in seeking police help, specifically a PSPO, that you are shutting down free speech? Look, everybody has a right to have an argument, but there are ways that you can make your case without intimidation and harassment, and this organisation fail those tests. Free speech is not an unaccountable right for the impact of the way in which you present your case. Clear Channel are the company who put this poster up on behalf of the pro-life organisation. That's not your work, is it? No. Fortunately. <laughs> So somebody's well, already done it. Someone's obviously covered it out. I don't know who. But. Yeah. And, and so did they ask you to get down here quickly? Or? Yeah, urgent job, yeah. Like, we, we was at work, haven't we, elsewhere. And we had to come down here. Well, like, we've got a manager coming down in a minute as well. The company says it accepts that the content should have been scrutinised in greater detail and are reviewing processes to prevent this from happening again. The Advertising Standards Authority says it's received around 30 complaints and their rules state that ads mustn't contain anything that's likely to cause serious or widespread offence. The pro-life group feels strongly that the posters should stay up. And Stella Creasy, along with many other women, wants legislation to protect against what she feels is harassment. Rhea Chatterjee, ITV News.